What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. Okay. Um, <laughs> you know, when I posted that video on Monday, literally just two days ago, talking about how this is going to be a rough week and, uh, you know, we just need to survive until the next town hall. It's because I thought nothing would happen. It's because I thought it would be a super quiet week and the salt would just continue to pour and uh, asset prices would just continue to bleed. I did not expect the whirlwind, a whirlwind of the, uh, of the getting of the new summoner stats or <laughs> the DEC bond conversation. Or actually, it's not DEC bond, DEC battery conversation uh, taking place and, and, you know, just everything that has been struck up around it. So uh, here's here's the thing. I, I want to tackle a, a couple of different things with this video. The first of which, I, I posted this as a tweet a while back, got interesting responses, but I, I fundamentally believe it and I, I want to share it here. And that is features don't matter. Features don't matter to bringing in new players. I don't know why people think that land is going to bring in new players or, you know, battle pass is going to bring in new players. It will keep current players um, and it will it it will keep the players that do come and it will it will maintain interest for players who've been here for a while. It will keep things fresh. But I don't believe that, you know, we, we are just never going to compete with Marvel Snap. We're never going to compete with Magic the Gathering Arena. We don't have the resources to do that. At the end of the day, the differentiating factor in Splinterlands is the fact that it is a play to earn game. You can earn rewards, you get to own your assets. And so I am all for features. I want features and it sounds like we are going to get a lot of these features even as early as Q1. But at the end of the day, if you want new players to come in and probably even more importantly so, if you want players to stay, you will need to have a good solid fundamental tokenomics, right? And the the asset prices should not be bleeding the same way or the way that they are right now. Um, Because here's the thing, you know, nobody was complaining about Splinterlands being this super basic game when when the the prices were good, right? When the earnings were were high, when SPS and DEC were high and being printed like crazy. Nobody talked about how this is just like a simple game. They came in and they said, "Oh, this is revolutionary." I mean, you know, like the 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 mentality has shifted so much. And like I said, I am not against new features and I'm glad so happy that Weird Beard is championing a lot of these things and it sounds like a lot of them are are getting uh, you know, heard and hopefully developed in the right places. Um, but at the end of the day, we, the tokenomics are what is going to bring new people in, and it's go, it's going to be what what hopefully keeps a lot of the players here. So the fact that like you know everything is just bleeding right now, <clears throat> excuse me, everything is just bleeding right now. This is as, as I've said before, we are paying for the sins of the SPS airdrop that happened a year ago. The they did not change the terms of the DEC pairing, and so we just we just printed way too much DEC. And so we just, we have to eat through it now. And that's why I'm a big fan of the DEC bond. Now, what I want to talk about when it comes to the DEC bond, because I've already given, I've already given a lot of my opinion in, in several videos. I, it, what it feels like to me, and uh, I don't, I don't mean this to be uh, attacking anybody specifically or even generally, but it feels like the community has lost confidence like full confidence in the team and their ability to get this done and so it just feels like any proposal that is put out there that attacks or tries to tackle the tokenomics issue is going to get met with the same kind of vitriol that i'm seeing right now and here's the thing i understand i feel I literally feel the same way that you guys do about all of this. If you remember like a week ago, two weeks ago, I am still salty about the Rift Watchers for DEC proposal. I am still salty about the way that they have gone through and not made promo cards and not made such and such. Um, so I get where you are coming from because I feel it too. But the fact of the matter is they think that this is a good idea. I don't think it's a bad idea. And if anything, it is going to be something that's available to everybody. And um, and whales will probably be the ones that take the most advantage of it. So my question to you is, because I don't want to rehash this whole thing. My question to you is, 
sure, I know you want features, but if you had to tackle the tokenomics issue, how would you do it? And I want you to answer that question with the assumption that this is a high priority item. This is not something that is worthwhile to leave until land comes in. I, I, I just don't feel like people understand the sense of urgency that exists there. Um, you know, one of the best examples that I give is DEC when paid for packs is revenue for the team. So imagine earning only, you know, 63% of your salary until the market, the bull market comes back. So this is something that is essential for the team to operate. Also, for the rest of the economy, it's going to be one of the best things for maintaining asset prices. Look at where DEC is now and look at where asset prices have fallen. I mean, chaos agent packs are selling on the secondary market for less than half the value, <clears throat> excuse me, of the store. Like that's insane to me. And uh, and it might even go down further, who knows, right? But here's here's the thing, like if we are able to maintain peg, if we are able to get back to peg and maintain peg, then a lot of those assets stop bleeding in value. In fact, there is a floor that is set there. There's also a potential floor set for SPS so that it doesn't drop to a penny or less than a penny. Because at that point, people will need to start burning some SPS. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry, guys. And while I, th I think there's a ton of SPS that needs to be burned through before we even feel any impact, I'd rather start doing that now than in like a year from now after land comes out. I would rather front run the bull run than, than try to just be playing catch up while all of these other projects that didn't have to deal with the tokenomics issues that Splinterlands did, um, you know, kind of take the lead. So that's my question for you here. Okay. Uh, again, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to throw shade or throw anybody under the bus. I, I'm just trying to get an idea of what it is you would like to see in a proposal that would um, that would alleviate the tokenomics issue. Again, you have to go in with the assumption. Because I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be constructive here. So I, you have to go in with the assumption that this is a high priority because the team in you know no uncertain words is saying that it is a high priority. So how would you tackle it then? So the only invalid answers, the only invalid answers are wait until the, the market eats it up or whatever the case is, or I don't want this. I want new features. Yeah. New features are being worked on. Don't worry. Those will come. Um, and if they don't, then uh, surprise, surprise. Right. So like <laughs> at the end of the day, like it, nothing would have essentially changed, but at least if we can get the tokenomics right, I think there's a chance of stopping the bleeding of the token, stopping the bleeding of players exiting the game and potentially being that green candle in a sea of red that is the crypto market, the regular market as well. So again, I'm just trying to get a better understanding of where you guys are and what it is you want to see done for tokenomics. Now, I will start just to, just to show <laughs> where I'm at with this. What I do want or what I would have wanted was stuff that is a value add in game and not necessarily DeFi related. But I am an, I am an investor first, right? So I, I don't mind the DeFi stuff. And I think that this is an easy way to go about it. But if it was up to me, I would love to see monthly or quarterly promo cards that you can buy with DEC that burns DEC or that burns vouchers. That is still my number one, okay? And I do hope that we get it. And we may end up getting it after the Salty Bear promo ends. I don't know. You know, this 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 could be something in the future that they are planning to implement, but they don't want to have two promotions running right now. So the DEC battery might be what they're implementing for early January. Again, I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm hopeful, right? I'm optimistic that we do get something uh, along those lines of like a quarterly or monthly promo card, whatever you want to call it. But at this point in time, I will settle. I will settle hard for the DEC battery idea because I plan on taking advantage of it. I, I have a guild that is not maxed out and there is immediate utility for me to take that. It, I don't view it as a presale. If you're buying it for land, then sure, you are taking that chance, but you don't have to buy it for land. You can go and burn DEC now, get, a, get an extra discount and go and upgrade your guild. And hopefully within Q1 sometime, guild alliances. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I just want to have... Um, I just want to have a discussion on this and get a better idea because there's a, there's a lot, there's a lot of people who feel really negatively right now. And 
once again, I, I'm trying to tell you that I, I feel the same way as you do. And if you watched my videos from two weeks ago, there's a reason, or three weeks ago, I mean, there's a reason people calling me Papa Bear now, right? So uh, it's, it's funny that I feel like I am defending this. The, the irony is not lost on me that I am now feel like I'm championing this and having to defend it as a good idea. But as I said, I don't think it's the best idea. It's not my favorite idea but it's also not a terrible idea. And I would rather get the ball moving on this um, and hopefully work towards better things in the future. So that's all I have for you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will catch you all in the next video and see you around the game. Take care.